What's going on? Welcome to the broadcast. We're here, Triton's home opener, also their season opening game. I'm Parker Hurd again, here I'm with David, David Pugh. Pugh. Oh yeah. Let's get right into it. Tom's taking it across. Righty. Oh. Gets the goal. Beautiful goal shot. Of the Beautiful for shot. Captain Tom Cahill out of Georgetown. North Reading, a tough opponent last year. Uh, pretty sure Triton went 0-3 uh, against them last year. So hopefully we can turn the tables here. Yeah, North Reading's a tough school. They've, they always uh, are. Every, all their every sport, teams, yeah. yeah. They always got a good sports team. Uh, let's see, the attack here, we got... Couple of we got a lot of freshmen on this team this year. It's a young it's a young team. Uh, here's JP scrapping for the ball oh. here at Fogo. Oh. Braden, let's go, uses Braden. His size to oh yeah, bring it down the, the ball. field. Oh nice gets pass. Gets it over to I think that's Michael Taylor to JP, who gets another hey! one. A quick 2-0 lead to start the game. Less than a minute in, JP and Thomas Cahill getting two tallies on the board. What a great start to the season and a great a, start to this game. It's a great way to start this game. Oh, yeah. Two, up to nothing. I don't know who our LSM is this year. Uh, we lost Dylan Slimak, great player last year. I, I'm guessing he was a Cal All-Star after his display last year that yeah, he, he put was on gross. for Triton. But uh, he's playing at Cushing this year, so we we're left without an LSM. I don't know who number three is, but he's showing good hustle there. I wish we had a roster. I wish we had a roster. Um, we could probably get one for the second. I'm probably going to zoom in, actually, here. All right, North Reading, finally crossing the 50. Half field. Haven't seen this yet. They're taking their time here. Getting in formation. About to start a play. They're rocking their gray jerseys. I don't know if these are their... They have alternates or something. Beats it over to JP, and that ball goes out of bounds. Uh, Griffin Houlihan will not be playing goalie as he was the main goalie last year. It is Charlie Clare from Georgetown, a.k.a. Chuck Diesel. Chuck Diesel. What a nickname. Oh, yeah. He's a menace. Good goalie. Let's see. 16, a player to watch from North Reading here. I remember playing defense on him in sophomore year. North Reading's looking for an opening here. Yep. Hopefully they can't find it. Nope, nothing here for North Reading. Kid tries to cut across the middle, and I don't know. JP's put, giving him the lock. work there. He's got locks on him. Yep. Good defense so far from Triton. Just has to poke the ball free and not free that up for 16. And a nice save there nice from save. Chuck. Chuck Diesel with the save. Yes, sir. JP takes JP's it. Hustling Casually down. across the field. Ooh, spin move. His sister, uh, Kate, playing lacrosse this year at Rochester Institute of Technology. She was a star player for... Uh, Triton girls lacrosse. Yeah, she had a hundred hundred goals last, or no, hundred points. Uh, I think she she had a lot for sure. Yeah. and she was also she had a hundred something last yeah. year. Yeah, she also took face offs like JP. Legal pick. Yeah, not sure what the call is there, but uh, North Running goalie will take it out a little bit, looking for a pass. Takes it out to his deep hole. Deep hole feeds a midi. I think that's number three from North Reading. And a nice stick check there from, I think that's Ryan Berzinski? Is that 22? No, that's someone else. I don't know who that is. I, that's their LSM. Thir oh, there is Ryan. I was about to say. I don't know who the LSM is, number three, but beautiful stick check there from him, whoever he is. Ryan's see. taking the ball up. I'm going to see if I can try to pull up the um, Tries to feed, somewhere. but knocked down by the opposing team. This gives North Reading another chance here. 16. Feeds it over to I can't see. It's a sunny day here at Triton High School. 
home of the Vikings. Number nine. Braden putting on, getting him, uh, getting him some defense there. 15, pretty sure that's Sean Toomey this year. He was 32 last year, 34, something. Five, Ryan just got worked there. Oh, nice save. But Chuck Diesel, Chuck Diesel with a great with save. save. Sean there, spin move, sophomore. Oh. And uh, I think that's Brady Young couldn't, uh, couldn't get the pass there. Uh, number nine, we'll walk this one in for North Reading. Braden playing midi this time around. Typically attack, but here he is playing midi. He did play, he had, he did play the position a few times last year, but primarily was attack. Trey near, looking at seven minutes left in the quarter, up two nothing. Goals from Tom Cahill, JP. 16 goes for the bounce shot. And Triton beats him there to regain possession as Tom goes for the ball. Tom, a star player, was a key player on the 2021 team that made it to the Division Three Finals. North Finals, great squad, led by James Tatro, who's now the assistant coach, taking Coach Anderson's job just this year. Tom takes it across the top. He's looking for that right hand. And he gets oh, it through. Tom with what a goal! his second goal. That's two for number two, Thomas Cahill. We're looking hot. Oh, yeah, the boys are off to a hot start against nice a start. tough team that they could not get by last year. Let's see if we can change the momentum this year. New year, new team. So, you know, it's zero zeros. Let's see if but JP here can. Here we are, three nothing in the first quarter. Here's uh, Sean Toomey taking the ball up. Sean. Taking Kyle Boulay's number 15. Kyle's off playing lacrosse at Curry College. Tom goes over to JP. JP back to Tom. Those are the two goal scorers for today so far. JP twirling his stick. Gets around. Cuts back outside. Looking, looking. Gets it to Tom and back to Sean. Georgetown connection right there. Tom and Sean just playing some catch right here. Sean looking for that top side. Ooh. And he can't get a good shot on that, but JP looks like he'll regain possession here. Retain possession, I should say. JP to Tom. Throws it back to JP, you know. Get something set here. Play. Damn. 32, I think that's... Cam, that's Cam. Uh, yeah, Cam McDonald. Another Instagram. freshman here. Along with number eight, who I'm pretty sure is Michael Taylor. Uh, so that two freshmen attack right there. Looks pretty good. And if... And I'm pretty Ooh. sure number six, oh. now that I think about it. Cam with some Damn. nice stick checks there. Ball's free, batted Playing around. Playing soccer here. Yeah, that's for Ball's sure. Ball's on the ground. 16, gets a possession here for North Reading. So attack here, now that I'm getting myself all adjusted to the new numbers and all of that. I'm pretty sure number six is Seamus Cahill, brother of Thomas Cahill, of course. Um... He was a freshman last year, sophomore nice this check. year. And he's going to be essentially leading this Let's young attack. Here comes Braden. Feeding it over to Michael Taylor. 
Getting a nice move. Tries to feed Sheamus there, but couldn't get it done. But you know what? Let's just set up for another play. All right, here's Tom with possession. Over to Sean. Sean to Tom, Sean to Tom. Tom's here, trying to look for that top side. Goes, I thought he was gonna go lefty, right. And a nice save there from the North Riding goalie. And he'll clear it here. So yeah, a young attack here, now that I'm looking at it. Seamus Cahill, the, the uh, I guess the mentor for this young attack, uh, being only a sophomore. But Cam and Michael, I mean, I saw a couple of middle school games and they were the two to watch. Like I, I went to, they were the Georgetown Triton team, middle school, that's their youth team, as well as their high school team being with Georgetown. I take on the name just Triton. What am I gonna say, what am I gonna say? Oh, both of them. I think Cam had four goals, so he is not allergic to scoring by all means, but let's see if that translates to high school. Good save there from Chuck. Cam was definitely a dominant player. I, so yeah, I too saw a couple of his games. Yep. He um. He's yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say, but. No, definitely they were the two-headed monster there for uh, for Triton Youth Lacrosse, and Coach obviously sees something and has them at the starting and. By all means, if that can translate to high school lacrosse, I, I see them having no problem. Uh, Michael already has started, I won't say started, but got significant minutes for the dominant hockey team this past winter, which, was, which made it up to the Final Four, but unfortunately lost to Neshoba, but still meeting that... Uh, Meeting the highest they've got in the playoffs. And a oh. great stick oh, check nice. there from Ryan Brzezinski to break off the shot. And now a, a scrum as North Reading will retain possession there. Beautiful, beautiful stick right there from Ryan. Breaks up the shot and keeps this game 3-0. Here comes a, I think it's 16, yep, 16 to one. These gray jerseys, there must be some alternates or something. I have not seen them. I think they usually wear green. Here they are, 16 again. Gets a shot, he's always going for those bouncers, I see. And, uh, yeah, yeah. He's got a couple of them. He always bounce when they bounce right over the net. Yeah, he's trying to pick that pocket right there off the bounce, but so far. Hasn't made it work. Exactly, but don't count him out yet because he is definitely their play. Big frame. Get it done. Miss pass there. Goes out of bounds, and that'll be Triton Ball. I don't know who this LSM is, and I really want to know. All right, number three. Over here to... I'm guessing that's... Ah, that is Colin Fiddler. Another freshman. Uh, was also on that hockey team I was talking about with Michael. Had about five goals this season. Pretty good freshman. Him and Michael were the only freshmen on that hockey team as well. And we'll also be getting varsity minutes for the lacrosse team. And Ooh. nice shot. I don't know if that went off the crossbar. I'm guessing it did with the speed that it just rocketed off of. But now the ball's just might have been off, off the shaft of, of the goalie off, stick. Of the goal stick? Yeah. I would not I, I be could shocked be if that was the case. It's definitely probable. The shot going that speed, uh can only guess what might have happened. Here is Michael Taylor over to Sean Toomey. It's back to Tom. To JP. Brings it back to JP. Looking for his second goal, trying to meet up with Tom. Oh, Gets stumbling. a shot. Saved by North Reading goalie number 12 and feeds it out to his deep hole. Drops it momentarily. Gets it to the kid with the green pocket. Oh! Michael, uh. With the goalie bringing it down the field. Michael absolutely oh, wow. blew a kid up. But uh, that's going to be a flag penalty. Um, 
yeah, Michael just could blew a kid up. I mean, he's got that size. I mean, kid was getting some massive hits in hockey. I did not expect it to translate in that kind of fashion, but that's what you want to see out of Attackman. Aggressive, because it's not that aggressive a position. And Chuck with another save, but Michael will be headed off. We're going to be man down here, I'm guessing. Yes. Two players off. One player on. They're bringing B. Mac, Braden McDonald, Mr. Captain himself, out on the field. And I don't know who has the ball right now, so I'm just going to... Okay. So this... Okay, one minute, one minute man down here with 30 seconds left in the quarter. Could run over to the second if we don't allow a goal. Oh, and Chuck with a huge the save chest. there. Oh, and another second. one. Oh, my God. Oh. Chuck Diesel. He's on fire right oh now. Oh, my Lord. Wow. Oh, pass to Braden. Braden. Braden's bringing it down. Beautiful saves there. He just took it right in the chest. Oh, See, Braden, give him the work. Feeds Tom. We got three seconds, two seconds, one. That is the end of a efficient first quarter, Great first quarter of the first game of the 2023 season. Goal, two goals from Thomas Cahill, one goal from JP Trojan. So far, so good. You love to see it, especially with a the team they had trouble with last year. But this is a whole new team, and I like what I see. All right. I have a question. Uh, 1404. Yes. David's K Day. I was doing good connecting numbers and being like, but I couldn't, couldn't get number three. All right, here we are, start of the second quarter. Uh, Hugh Rice is number three. That just came in, new knowledge to me. So, another freshman on a young sure. Triton lacrosse team, but. That kid's a good. goofball, I'll tell ya. <laughs> Glad to see him getting some minutes on the, on the lacrosse field, though. Good kid. <laughs> Love to see it. So, so we're switching sides here. Shooting maybe into the sun. So We keep playing like, like that first quarter. Should be in a good much. position. Tom here. Oh. Quick kid. I remember coach would match me up against him, and I was never very good. And I already knew it was over before it even began. Tom with a stick check right there. And uh, North Reading's defender will be taking it out. 24 here with the ball. C. Fids, Colin Fiddler with a couple jabs. 
broken up in front, and that's Vinny McGee oh. with a oh. with an with a risky uh, roll pass back to Chuck, but nothing came of it for a goal. And here's Michael Taylor here now at midfield instead of attack. I think, yeah. No, I think he's going up to attack. I don't. I'm not sure there. Here's Braden. Gets it over to Thomas Cahill. Tom. Okay. Here's Mikey again getting absolutely manhandled right there. There's Tom. So yeah, Mikey is now at midfield with Tom. Quick change, and now Braden's out attack. She played mostly last year, as I said earlier. Mikey, they're trying to look for the spinoff there, but just hacking and whacking that North Reading player. Feeds it back to Mikey. Back out to Tom. Brayden, I like the cat. I like the uh, how nonchalant this offense is right now, but they're making it work. They're just getting stuff going. Try another play. Gets it to Sean. To Vinny, who gets a shot, but right off the goalie's legs. But he retains possession here. Vinny over to Michael Taylor, who gets goal. his first goal of his high school lacrosse career. That is Michael Taylor with the goal. Makes it 4-0 Triton. The freshman getting it done. Love to see it. Nice shot from Mikey Taylor. Four nothing Triton, what a start. What a start. JP's here, face off. Jumbo. Oh, and he'll win that easily. Get it over to Mikey, who gets it back to 28? Is that what I'm reading? Yeah, 28. I think that might be Joe Niska. Not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure that's Joe Niska. Joe, I think, wore number 8 last year, so just put a 2 in front of it. Uh, Tom, back to JP. JP gets it over to Mikey. JP here. Tries to create something. It's defended nicely by number one, but let's bounce it back out and start something else. Tom to Michael. Back out to Tom to Vinny. Who got on the field starting the second quarter. Tom backs out. Gets it to JP. Gets it to the slot. Seamus trying to find something there, but gets stick checked by... One of the deep holes there for North Reading, and the goalie gets possession there. Goalie to number 11, Mr. Uh, Lime Green uh, Head, Crosshead. <laughs> All right, I think that's number one over there with the ball. Defended by Vinny McGee. Number two. Oh, and number three. This is a pass there, but can get possession, but number 13 there is giving him the work. Not sure who that is. My guess was, no, Brady Young's 12 this year, which was uh, DA, Dylan Angelopoulos. Is, yeah, that's probably it. I'll just call him DA right now because he was one of the uh, three captains on last year's team, and uh, he's off playing at Bridgewater State. All three of our captains went off to pursue lacrosse at the next level. Here's 24 here for North Reading, trying to get a jump to their offense, which hasn't seen much. Tries to get a pass in 18, 16 has the ball. I think that's 16. Back up to number one, and they're going to wait a second. They'll get something going. Defended here by Hugh Rice, the LSM, freshman starter.
gets it over to number two. Number two working his way around. Hugh Rice is staying with him all the way. Pretty good stuff. Oh, I'm looking at a great freshman class here we got from... Uh, just they seem to be translating well. I won't say great yet. But, I mean, there's a lot of freshmen starting here, so it's got to mean something for that class. Okay, back to Chuck. Chuck's going to get a long pass over to JP. What a beautiful feed from Chuck Diesel. He can do it all, but JP with the pass blocked down by their deep hole. Mikey playing some. Nice four check there. Gets it over to the goalie. Beautiful pass there from Chuck Diesel. Set something up, but hey, here it is again. Great four check from Mikey Taylor. And a huge long pass to number five. One bounce oh. up, and that is an and open. That's a goal. And that is a goal for number nine from North Reading. Not much Chuck could do there. Such a tough position like goalie and lacrosse. You're basically. Oh, man, I could never play goalie. Like, oh, my God. They, they didn't even got leg pads on. No, it's, it's insane. Wild. It's insane. But Chuck lets up his first after making some incredible saves. So let's see if Chuck can bounce back here. 4-1 still is the score. Yeah, lacrosse goalie is a uh, it's quite the position, man. You're you're looking pretty good if you save about half of the shots that are taken on you, I'd say. But Chuck's got a nice save percentage as of as as of right now. Thomas Cahill here. Off a nice little hockey like face off from JP. Shoots it back to Tom. Here we are now. Braden McDonald. Captain to captain there. Tom and Braden McDonald have been selected as the two captains to lead this Triton lacrosse team. Back to Mikey. To Tom, to Braden. It's a windy day here on the marsh. Thomas, giving him the work, brings it to his left hand. Gets a Ooh. lefty shot. A little, too, a little too right there. Good take though. Battery's looking low here. Hoping they call a timeout or something so I can. Mikey there. Gets it. Nothing there. Okay, I'm gonna have to. Okay, we're back. We are back here. Just a little interruption there. Battery's tied on the camera, but still 4 1 game. Number one gets it over to number three from North Reading. Feeds it back over to number nine. Number five. Defended by Berzy, Ryan Berzinski. Oh, no. So number 12. Oh, wow. Wow. Try five tries to cut in front there. He does, but Chuck gets the save there. And I am sorry here. Number 12 is not... Brady Young, taking that old number from uh, D.A. Brady is still with his number 19. I do not know who number 12 is, but another D pole Thanks. here. Number one, trying to put the work on Hugh Rice, and he gets a nice stick check there, wrap oh. around. I thought he had him beat, but Hugh with oh. a great stick check there. And this is uh, G-Boss, Gavin Colby, fighting for the ball here. I heard a timeout called, so from North Reading, I'm guessing. That'll be a timeout, first timeout of the game, as far as my knowledge. I don't think there was another one. Uh, yes, yeah, the first. All right, word. Hold on. Oh, you got two headsets? Uh, let's see here. Um, you know, this game's going great. We uh, Vikes can keep it up. I think that's a. Uh, that's uh, I don't want to say, uh, you know, well, that's a lock. But 
you know, it's looking looking like it should be a good game for Triton here today. So far, so good, as we would say. Yeah, so, so far, so, far, so good. So, Let's so keep good. it rolling. 4-1 Triton. Yep. Keep the Three momentum. minutes left in the first half of the first game of the 2023 season. Here. So far, so good. Nice sun, little wind. Never heard nobody. Shock with some great saves. Yeah. I mean, he's been he's, he's been he's been playing great. He's been mining the crease like crazy. And uh, defense has been looking good. Saw some nice stick checks. Been playing with North Reading. We've been we've been playing with them, and we've been playing better than them offensively so far. But it's also cheers to the defense for not letting North Reading go on a run right now. North Reading timeout takes a chance for Triton Lacrosse coach Coach Rice, Coach Mike Rice, to uh, also take a timeout for himself here. Get the team back to 100, and we'll break it down here and send it back to the field for the last three minutes of play here in the first half. Coach Michael Rice with experience himself playing lacrosse at Notre Dame back in 1980-something. Not 100% sure. Maybe 78. It sounds about right. Back when lacrosse was a young... Not known as well, but it's been definitely blowing up. North Running breaks it down, and here we go. I'm pretty sure that's, uh, I actually can't see the number right now. Train student section is looking a little barren today, but we're going to have to, uh, maybe once they. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, it's kind of lackluster today. Hopefully it picks people, up as the season goes on. They can get some chance going, you know, yeah. something to boost the uh, Triton players, but so far they've not needed that. 4-1 lead. Here we are back in play, in motion. That is Seamus there. Gets it over to JP. JP over to Tom. Tom gets it down to G-Boss, Gavin Colby. Gets it back to Gavin. Back to Michael. To Tom. He's taking it around. Probably going to start a play. Here. Tom look at that top side. Can't find it. Gets it back out to JP a little too far there, but JP got some stick on it to keep it from barreling out, out of bounds. JP with a move. Number nine playing close defense, but JP Ooh. with a nice cut. But has to get it back out. Just one too many cuts there. But JP, beautiful move so far. Seamus there gets it back to JP. Now Tom will take it across the top, gets a shot off, but I'll go out of bounds, but retain. Trayton will retain possession here. Uh, Michael Taylor with the ball. G-Boss with a screen on the air. JP there. Ooh, with a move. Oh, taking a check, gets his left hand open. Bounce shot that... Goes out of bounds, stays Triton ball after a hustle from uh, Sean Toomey there. Fifteen, Sean Toomey. Nice little move there. Taking a couple checks, doesn't matter. He gets it over. Tom, back to G-Boss. To Seamus. Back to Gavin, sends it over. To the man, Thomas Cahill. Ooh. Mason Colby to my left. Walking by. Former lacrosse player himself. As he smiles and laughs and walks away. His brother out there. Setting a pick. Hard pick right there. Thomas. Left hand. Saved by the goalie. Number 12. Spins around outside of his net. Gets it to number seven. We'll take it a little bit. Oh, oh. one hit pickoff from Sean Toomey. Can he beat the, the goalie back to his net? Oh. And he can't. Got the look. A bounce shot that just went over. But Sean will be getting plenty of looks this year by the way I've seen he's playing right now. Michael there. 
taking a couple jabs. No problem for him. Let's get some back out to Sean. Thomas there gets his top side. Ooh. Oh, and that is third goal of the game Another for Thomas goal. Cahill. He's got his first hat trick of the 2023 season. Three goals there for Thomas Cahill. That makes it 5 1 Triton. So far, so good. So far, so good. Great look. Got his, you know, got that top side look. Send it bar down. It's pretty high out there. Number 12 didn't know where it went until it was in the back of the net. JP will be here for the faceoff with 30 seconds remaining in the first half. JP there. Gets it to Michael to G-Boss. And Gavin scores. G-Boss goal. G-Boss goal. That's great you to see. To That's see great it. to see. Get a few of them last year. Nice transition play right there. JP win to Mikey to G-Boss. Score. You love to see it. Simple poetry in motion, as you'd, you'd say. Yeah, our, our ball movement's looking great out here. It's Definitely. Looking, it, it's Building looking that like chemistry a, for the season. Looking like we're playing, playing catch pre-practice, you know, just moving it back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> That's know. for sure. That's for sure. JP here. Wins it. Holy, the one hand. JP always working on his craft, you know. I'll be over my good friend Deeb's house and wake up in the morning, look outside, JP's ripping shots. It's true. Using the rebounders, working on his game. You love to see that type of commitment. And that horn sounds the end of the first half of the home season opener here for Triton Vikings Lacrosse. Great start. Three to the game. goals for Thomas Cahill. A goal from Michael Taylor. A goal from G Boss, Gavin Colby. And a goal from I forget that third player. Was it JP? JP. Way to come in. I got you. Alright. So we'll be back second half. Peace. Peace. Here we are back. Parker Hurt again with David Pugh. Second half is upon us. 6-1 is the score. Let's see if try and keep it rolling. Yeah. First half went great. Let's see if we can do it again. I think so, yeah. I think we can. That's for sure. See some Newburyport scouts out tonight. A couple uh, Newburyport lacrosse players seeing what's up with the new season. And so far, I'd be impressed if I were them. It's been looking so far so good. JP here to take the face off. Yo! Hey man. Yep, we're recording. We're doing great. Here's Braden, Braden with the ball. It Takes it Bring across it here. Starts the offense for the second half. Here's JP. Brings it back over to Tom. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, how's it going out there with the... Yeah, I was thinking about that too because, um, of course, I film sports and I, 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 hold on, JP here, to Tom, loses the ball there, regains possession. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking my, my 200 even won't, won't be that great to, like, capture side to side, but also I'd be behind the net, but that's not great for lacrosse, so I'm thinking sides on scoring side, and then switch, like, in between. See. Yeah. That's my best bet. Tom to JP. Here's JP, JP with the ball. JP looking for a shot. 
Doesn't find Goes to his left side. Back to his right and just shoots it back out to Thomas Cahill. Tom. To Braden. To Braden. Back out to Sean. Sean. All right, I'll see you, man. Good luck. I don't think that was Sean. I'm trying to see the number. Ooh. Tom with nice the goal. goal from Tom. In the blink of an eye. Got lost in the sauce right there, broadcasting. But I think I, you know, Top picked shelf. up Sully there. Fourth goal for Tom right there. No surprise. He's. What's going on? He's familiar with the back of the net. I'll tell you. <laughs> That is no foreign language to him. He speaks back of the net. All right. First uh, player not named J.P. Trojan taking the face off here. Who this is got? Sean Toomey. Sean Toomey. Taking the face off. Let's see how he does here. He gets hit up there. North running player. Thought that was a hit in the head somewhere, but nothing there. Sean. And one way or another, from the faceoff, Sean ended up with the ball. So I, I take that as a faceoff one in my book, Sean. You started the offense there before North Reading could. Sean there with Tom. To Tom. Tom to Sean. Uh, Sean almost said Seamus. Sean. Couple spin moves there. Looks to his left. A little too wide, but Triton stays with the ball. This is Mikey to Sean. All right, yeah. Sean to Vinny here. Switching hands. Gets it Cam. to 32. Cam McDonald. Little pick there. Mikey there trying to get something going. Sends it back out to uh, Vinny. And Tom will be looking for that top side. And he gets it inside to his brother. Oh. Thought that was his brother. No, it is his brother, Seamus. Tom gets it over to Michael Taylor, who scores his second goal of the game, of his career. Good start for him here. Good start. For Triton Lacrosse. 7-1. North Reading calls a timeout. How are these? I haven't tried it yet. Sweet banana and sour apple. Bubblegum filled pop. Courtesy of T-Dog. Triton's T -Dog number one goat. fan. <laughs> Thanks, T-Dog. Oh yeah, we're all Should about it. Do a taste test on the. Yeah, what flavor see, did you get? I got the sweet grape and sour pineapple. Hmm. Hmm. Sounds interesting. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. Oh yeah. Definitely a fan. A oh, good flavor there. Love me a good lollipop. Oh yeah, all about it. <clears throat> all about it. So good start there. What do you think, Dave? Great start. I mean, I mean, I don't even know if you can call it a start anymore. It's just a great game. I mean, we're already in the in the third quarter. True, but, true. Um, yeah, I mean, Game's going by fast. we've kept the mo we've kept the momentum up. We had a fast start, like two goals, three goals, like back to back to back. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and just they've they've you know you, sometimes you see you know like a team will come out strong and then they'll you know they'll die out, but it's not happening here. It's good to see. Very good point made there, and it's definitely something to keep an eye on. As we've got nine minutes left in the third, will Triton keep their momentum up 8-1? And if they keep this momentum, we'll see the depth of the team, see what we're working with. Love to see how momentum factors into the success here, because so far, Triton's had all the momentum. JP here, taking the face off. Number nine, C. Fids at LSM. Another freshman. So we got two freshmen LSM, I see. Number three, uh, what's his name? Oh, um, uh, Hugh Rice. Hugh Rice. Hugh Rice. Hugh Rice. And number nine, C. Fids, who's also playing close D. 
few moments ago. JP, JP. takes off, shows off that oh, speed. Wide connect. shot, but beautiful start there. That's the speed you like to see out of JP. To use him on the track team. Seamus gets it to Mikey. Mikey feeds it back out. Sean with a one-handed catch there. JP taken off there like a rocket. Gets to his left hand. Wide again, but definitely shaking up the goal here. Absolutely rattled. Okay, we call Ohio here for Triton. JP backs out, gets it, spins around, looks for an opening, pick there, looks for Thomas top side. He didn't get what he wanted, so Cam. let's just pass it around a bit. JP takes a check. I don't know who that is, but made sure JP did not pull any fancy stuff on him there. Remember, now he's scared. There's Sean outside, gets it back to Cam McDonald, the freshman, with a jumping grab there. Keeps the game going. Or uh, the uh, drive going. Another pick set there. Kind of more in the way of Tom, but it's all right because didn't change possession. Let's see, uh, Sean to JP. Thought that was in the, the helmet there, but could just be my bad eyes. There's Sean Ooh. with the rip. Snipe. Sean Toomey. Putting Triton up. 9-1 now, 8-1. I didn't see the score change. 9-1. I'm going to guess 8-1, but I think it's going to change. Sean Toomey. Another tally Beautiful there. Shot there. I mean... Tom has four of them, but we've been seeing, you know, a whole bunch of different goal scorers here. That's what you like to see. A so, lot of players that can put the ball in the back of the net. Yeah, there's no one-star player here. It's, you know, we got a lot of solid, solid players. That's um, that's what you want. That's what you want. Exactly. We've, a, we've had a great showing from Triton today. JP gets face off there. Backs out to Tom. Braden McDonald back on the field. Braden playing midi here. Again. Saw him at attack for a glimpse of a moment, of a second. But still playing midi. Major, mid, major. Oh, look at the hustle on that man. Cam, good hustle. You know, that's what you like to see. Yeah. Mess up. Kids got heart. Run it out. Number seven there. Cam right behind tries to get the low part of the stick there for the uh, deep hole. Oh, Very vulnerable spot of the uh, deep hole. As you choke on it, choke up on it to ch cradle it. A little drop pass there to one. And that starts North Reading's offensive possession, which there hasn't been many of. But let's see if North Reading can get something going here. Oh, beautiful nice. stick check there from... I don't know who 13 is. Here's number 12. Oh, my God. Two players I don't know, but that is a big oh. man. That is a big man, number 12. There's Ryan. I know 22. Oh, absolute scrum over here. Jeez, somebody's going to lose a leg there. Oh, yeah, five gets possession here, though. Nice stick check from 13, but... Didn't change possession here. 24 uh, behind the net here. Number five. Back to the top for number one. Number five, top side. Thought he was going to rip a shot there, but holds it back. Looks for a better look. Here's 16.
not sure who this is coming up with the ball right now, but that's Vinny playing. Good defense there. Communication is key, and I'm hearing a lot of stuff call from the defense here for Triton. I got you one, I got you two, I got you three. Communicated, you know, we need always communication on defense for a successful defensive system there. And that's what I'm hearing there. That's what I'm hearing there. Very good. Here's number one, wrap it around. Picked up by Braden. Looks at that top side, but Braden closes in, closes in on him. Vinny here. Number 13 again. Really wish I had a roster here because. And oh, that is flag. a flag on the play. I was thinking something was going to be called. Didn't want to, you know. Jinxed it, but uh, surely enough, 13 will be seeing some penalty time there. He got beat there. Unfortunately, had to kind of uh, bounce back from being beat there. Just led to a legal wraparound. Maybe tripped up, pretty much tripped up the player. Not sure what the refs would have called it. Surely enough, illegal. Don't know who has the ball here. Okay. There we go. Looks like we got a new player on the field from North Reading. He's got a different helmet from everybody else. Oh, really? Yeah. Where's he at? Oh, Boy, white helmet, helmet. Number 14. JV Warrior. Yeah. White <laughs> helmet. Misses the pass there. Tom goes for the ball and he says the ball because five is a big player speaking of jv warriors i was uh before track practice today i was ripping shots with um with uh tim clark um you know another freshman right? yeah yeah you know it like it, it gives me appreciation for um for for how they're finding the net because i don't know i was tr trying to rip shots and i was just you know i was putting them like 20 feet <laughs> wide of the net <laughs> yeah it is uh there's no easy skill there for these players. Number five for North Reading just scored, making it a 9-2 game. Uh, breaking that cushion a little bit. Yeah. And like you mentioned, uh, another freshman, but JV team. Something uh, Triton Lacrosse hasn't had for since before the, uh, the uh, COVID season, yep. or I guess the no season. Uh, no JV team for the past two years, but finally a JV team with such a large class like the freshman class. Uh, hopefully that can build and develop better players, like you say, Tim Clark. Yeah. Into yeah, the, the, varsity players very soon. Yeah, the, these uh, these past two years, the the younger players haven't had much of a chance to um like to get out there and play and improve. They've what they had the they had the fifth quarter or whatever. The fifth quarter. Yeah. See, but it's it's good that now we we uh, we have enough to feel the JV team. They can get out there, you know, like play play a whole game. That's for sure. So yeah, that should that's Coming looking from a fifth warrior. Looking qu good. Fifth quarter warrior myself. <laughs> they uh personally didn't give me the same uh, development as a full game. So I hope to see the um, current JV players take this as a challenge and thrive in that opportunity. Tom with a low shot there. Low to low. Didn't really change the planes there, but you love to see a different t type of shot taken by Thomas Cahill, and he's all about it. All about it. So North Riding will get possession here. Look for the goalie, Seamus, with some forecheck here. He's going to go from behind. But the goalie gets a complete pass there, but led to a bad pass that was scooped up by number 16. Gets it over to number 5. couple stick checks from Ryan. Oh, and that'll and be that a goal. is another goal for North Reading. 9-3 uh, to three now. 9-3. With a minute 40 left in this third quarter. Who
Who's at that score? Do you remember? I already forgot. No five Fr- forgot the on, second goal. Oh uh, yeah, I yeah I don't know. It might have been him as well, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, here's JP in the draw, wins it in beautiful fashion. Here's the uh, freshman Michael Taylor. I don't think I've seen him off the field, honestly, but he might have been. There's no problem with it. Good player. Two goals for him as well. Sean here gets it. To another sophomore, Seamus. Two got some chemistry there. Beats him inside, and I thought that was a surefire shot on net, but it's going to lead to a lost possession here for Triton. Seven. Passes it into another deep hole here, number six. Number five, they, they got speed right now. Yeah. They got a little momentum coming they're off they're back to back. Definitely gaining some momentum. Yeah. Hopefully we can we can we can shut that down. Extinguish the momentum. Yeah. The uh two goals there in a row. Nine three game. Just cushion is getting ever so slightly thinner. 16 here, try something on Ryan Brzezinski. Number nine here, defended by Braden. Back out to one, defended by, I think that's C. Fids. Yeah. Colin Fiddler. Number 16 loses the ball there. Burzy. Tries to get the stick work around, and JP That'll gets possession, but right quarter. as time expires, we're going into the fourth quarter here. Dave, you like what you see so far? I'm liking what I'm seeing, yeah, for sure. I mean, the defense has been sh- has been sh- 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 has been shutting them down pretty good. Um, you know, they they gain a little bit little bit of momentum. We'll see if that carries on into the fourth quarter, but um, yeah. We're looking. I say we're. I say we're in a good position. I think so. A nice two-minute break for the team. Get themselves together. You know, you just let in two goals, but you're up six. But just play hard for the rest of the quarter. You got yourselves a win. Yep. From what we've seen, great saves here. From Charlie Claire, Chucky Diesel, the man in the net, got some big saves. Uh, defense has been looking good. I th- I think so. Ugh. I think so. Yep. A couple of deep holes, I don't know, but they've been contributing greatly too. Number 12, number 13. Nice deep checks, a big nice boy. break ups. Yeah. He's I tall. I think he's, he's from new. Georgetown. Yeah, he is. He is. I remember seeing him, um, they had captain's practice in the gym. I was like, who is that guy? Mm hmm. Yeah. I don't think he played last year. No, as he didn't. As, my, as far as my knowledge. I'm, I'm not sure what I'm fairly he's certain he's, he's new to the team. Yes. Same here, Dave. Same here. Here we are, coach breaking it down, just giving the team some assurance. We got uh, new managers this year. Last year was uh, Dylan Wilkinson, uh, Matty Hillick, Ellie Gay Colleen. Of course, all seniors last year. So you got to bring in new staff. Pretty sure uh, uh, Maeve Hughes, uh, I forget the other ones. Maeve Hughes is one of them. Getting a freshman staff going for the next four years, hopefully. Of course, so far so good. Horn sounds for the fourth quarter of play to commence. JP out taking the face off to open up this fourth quarter. Uh, Let's see what we got going on for attack. So defense, we got Brady Young out. Barzy. Number 22. Number 12, that kid we were talking about. He had his name, but he's new. Looking good so far. Uh, and then Charlie again in the net. We got uh, on attack, we got G-Boss Gavin Colby, number 16. Mikey Taylor out again. Number 8. And uh, number 15, Sean Toomey out. 
playing attack. He might have been at attack last time, but I remembered him at midfield earlier. And JP with a, oh shoot, a rare face-off loss. You won't see many of those. Brady playing some close D on him. Defense once again with some great communication. That's what you like to see as we go on throughout the season. Chemistry, communication. As they call some formations for the defense, some slides. Five with a move, with a shot. Ooh. Skies over the net, but stays North Reading ball. Up, number 14, White Helmet JV Warrior. <laughs> Did not get the ball there, but pretty high pass there from one anyways. Number nine is 16. 16, that player to watch. Man by Bursey. Shot wide. And Chuck with the hustle there to make it Triton ball. Beautiful hustle there. You love to see it. Love to see it. Thomas here with the ball. Take it up. Casually. 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 Gets it over uh, to number 12 again. This player who's up. Just huge slash there. Bringing down the hammer. Play here. Defended by JP. Number one tries something. Brady with a stick check there. Back to right out. Number 16. Defended by Bursey. Now he starts something. Goes to the left. Goes for some sort of shot, I think. Not really sure, but try and had some sort of ball. JP lost it there. Not much you could do there. All surrounded by gray jerseys. 16 to 14. Back over to 8. <laughs> Brady out. Who, who's that deep hole there? Do Number you know? 19? Yeah. That's Brady Young. Okay. Georgetown. Plays hockey, I'm pretty sure. Okay. I think uh, Pentucket is the... Because Georgetown doesn't have like an actual team, so gotcha. I think they go with Pentucket. Not 100% sure, but... Not 100% not sure if he still plays. Bursey, stick check, then bats it over to Braden, turns to JP. Great defensive play there from Bursey to cut off the pass. G-Boss oh. tries to get one more to Sean, but... Ends up north running ball, but another scrum here, kind of in front of the net. Oh, oh I heard some heavy contact. Not sure who made it, but uh, it definitely was Triton as the Hornets have the ball and there was no stoppage there. Sean with a penalty. Sean Toomey. And that'll be a uh, man down situation for a Triton. Kind of forgot which way they were going, but here's number one. For North Reading. Seen him out a lot today. Seems to be their guy. Not sure if he has a goal yet. I honestly forget besides five has a goal, but here's one taking it down. Man down situation. Could become an opportunity to see how this team plays and a little bit of pressure here. We haven't seen a lot of it. 
Oh, oh nice and save. another huge save from Chuck Diesel. Diesel. Oh, the man. Love to see it. You love to see it. Not afraid to put the body out and just not guard himself with the stick the entire time, you know? Mm -hmm. He'll do, by all means, he'll do anything to save the ball. That's what you like to see out of a goalie. Yeah. Aggressive and will get to the ball before the ball gets to him. It's great stuff. Great stuff. Chucky there gets a pass. Oh, pass to Braden. A little, yeah, tries to get to Braden. A little too high for Braden. G Boss tried to. Re Not something you hear often. The ball possession there. Brady goes on the outside, bats it around, hockey style. And there is Vinny. Let's go, Vinny. Who gets the GB, oh. gets stick checked. Gets stick checked again, but the ball is still out in. Tom. Trying something. I think we need the. Ground ball wizard out here. Braden McDonald. I bet you he'd be coming down with it. Nope. There's Vinny. Gets it over to Sean. Oh. Off the crossbar. Didn't see the net move, but nice rip from Sean there. You love to see it out of some underclassmen. As he comes out of the penalty right there, too. All right. Good stuff from Sean there. Right off the penalty, comes out. Almost gets a goal there, but crossbar is there for. But beautiful shot nonetheless. Definitely been working on it. It's been getting faster and faster. And harder and harder. Mm. Here we are, 9-3, about halfway through the fourth quarter. <sighs> Love how this team's looking so far. Should be in for a good season from what we're seeing today. Mm -hmm. <sighs> What's better is... uh. First game, you know, almost entirely new team. There's not many connections still here. I mean, no, there's there's plenty. But a lot of freshmen means, you know, time to build new chemistry. Time to see what this team can do so far. And so far, so good. Team seems to be connecting well. Those scrimmages uh, were definitely helping. Practices. We're seeing a good team so far. Um, yeah, scrimmages as well. Train looked pretty dominant in those. Played teams such as Methuen, Gloucester, won pretty dominantly. Gloucester scrimmage, I'm pretty sure it was a 7 0 win for them. And I'm pretty sure they'll play. No, they will not play Gloucester. One team they scrimmaged and will play is Methuen. I don't know if it's towards the end of the season now. I don't even know if it's a home game. I Actually, I know when it is. It's during April vacation week, a uh, week of the 17th and all that stuff. It might be the 17th, actually. I think it's a Monday game. We'll be taking on Methuen. And after beating them in the scrimmage pretty dominantly, we'll see how they do against them in the regular season. Because this is not the complete Triton lacrosse team yet. Still figuring stuff, stuff out. Coach is still, you know, setting his roster to see how practice translates to game. Ball will be going out here and will be Triton Ball. Brady calls for Tom to take this ball in. Tom with four goals in this affair. JP checks in. Oh, does, JP does not have the ball. 
There we are. Vinny. Over to Thomas Gale. Back over to JP Trojan. JP takes it over the top. Spins around to his left. Gets a shot on. Save. Right into the goalie's stick. But putting some pressure, well needed pressure on the goalie. They switch goalies too. 19 is the goalie I remember from last year. They started with number 12, right? That's a different um, goalie, right? Number 12 I remember shorter. Number 19 I remember from last year. And I think his first year was my sophomore year. That's a number nine. Uh, I can't even tell from this angle. That's number 19, yeah. Yeah, number 19 goalie now for North Running. Don't know when he checked in. Wasn't really paying attention to that aspect, but. Sixteen out, attack, Bursey, tightly defended, tightly defending two, over to twenty-four. Gets it over to, I think that's one, but I can't see his n number. I could see there number five. No goal called there. Thought it hit the net, but let's hope it didn't. And the rest will talk this one out. Compare the angles, see who saw what, and they're calling a goal on for North Reading. For number five, that's the second goal of the game for number five. Hello. Uh, second goal for number five. Makes it a 9-4 game, Triton still, but momentum. Momentum is definitely what kept us alive so far as North Reading's finding the back of the net now, but four minutes remaining. Let's see what they can do with it. JP's at the faceoff here. At the tee as the sun sets over the beautiful Marsh Parker River here at Triton. Regional High School, home of the Vikings. Tom's here. Takes it, and Seafids will get off, and that will bring in Braden McDonald playing midi once again. Probably going to see them, him there a lot this year. That's what I'm thinking from coach's selection. Put him out for attack for a few moments, but for a moment, actually. JP over to Mikey. JP over to Tom. Tom back to JP. JP will start the play here. And make some moves. Gets to his left. Can't find anything. One with some good defense there. 37. Braden McDonald. Gets it down to Mikey and Seamus. Seamus with a good freshman campaign last year. Got a lot of goals. That attack position, he was he was usually the last pass, met for a goal. It's usually how it went on those breakouts out of the faceoff. There's Mikey trying something against the defense. There's JP over to Tom. Tom back over to JP. Seamus to JP. JP looks like he wants to try something. Sh tries to shift to his left, but one Ooh. keeps it in the middle. One. Very good short stick defense there. Locking up JP is a pretty good accomplishment to have in your repertoire. Tom with a shot. Trying to retain possession. Here's Sean. Gets it over to JP. Here's Tom. Takes it. 
Oh, and a nice break up there by North Reading defender. And he tries something Whoa. there, but misses the pass ball, gets out of the pocket, and JP gets the ball back for another try in possession here. JP over to Seamus. Here's Tom. Getting pinched there by the defense. JP to Braden. Sean just got tapped in the head, but still goal. gets the goal with the left hand. Sean with, I'm pretty sure his second goal. Yeah, yeah second goal. Nice assist from Braden there. Beautiful, yeah. Great possession there after North Reading seemed to be on pace to have a breakaway, uh, but uh, one missed pass led to JP scooping the ball up and gave Trent another chance to score, and here we are, 10-4, with about a minute 30 remaining in this first game. JP here wins a faceoff, gets stick gets checked. Stick gets hit, that will lead the pass outside, and ref calls North running ball. As the pass was not completed. 31 here, not sure who that is, but he's out. I see Alexander Pasquini out, a.k.a. Squini. He's putting out the uh, JV Demons out here. Squini with a stick check, trips over his own feet. <laughs> Another hockey player there, number nine. Then by number 12 here. Back out to number 16. Here's Squeeney switching on to his another man. Number 13. Still don't know who that is. Squeeney, I see him all switch in, but gives 24. But a nice save there from Chuck. Escapes the stick check there. Gets it to Squeeney, who got, oh. got the ball for the first time. Got checked, got checked on his first possession of his uh, lacrosse career. Last year... Oh, and the ball gets sent out of bounds. Squeeney coming from uh, baseball. That was a spring sport. Now he's taking on lacrosse. And, I mean, he caught the ball. Didn't lead to much, but he's definitely getting out there. And that's what you like to see. All right. Here's Ryan Bursey. Squeeney tries uh, something, loses, loses the, the ball. ball. <laughs> gets kicked around, <laughs> soccer style. Yeah. And Triton gets possession there. Harry Pike with the ball, number 43. Gets it to Aaron Holscher. Tries something with the right. Good to see Aaron out there. Gets it back out to Vinny McGee. And that'll end this first game for Triton Lacrosse. 2023 season kicks off with a home win. That's a great, that's a great way to open the season for sure. Against North great Reading. And they're not getting shut out. Not losing the season series than this year yet. And that's your first win here for Triton Lacrosse in beautiful fashion, 10-4 game. What a game, what a game. What a game for sure. All right, thank you guys for watching. It's me, Parker Hurdigan. And David Pugh. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And cheers to, uh, cheers to the 2023 lacrosse season. Boys, hope you enjoy it. Peace out. See ya.